If you've watched my older videos, you'll know that I made this saw up from one that I got used for very little money. It had a few problems, and one of those is that the miter slots were not very well, I don't know if they were well machined or if they got damaged in some way, but my guide bar here doesn't slide smoothly through it. It hangs up around two thirds across like this. Now I'm gonna to try to straighten that out in this video. Well, the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna find out where it's starting to stick and it's around here and it continues up to the end. I've already tried it, it can barely go in. And I'm gonna take a piece of plywood that's got a nice square cut on the edge and a file. This is a single cut flat file and I'm going to use the block of wood to hold the file 90 degrees to the table as I run it back and forth on the edge here to plane down this edge just a little bit. After I've done some, I can try again and see if I've made any improvements and I can see that it's getting further. It can go up to here now fairly smoothly, but a little bit more taken off. And I think I'm going to take a little bit off this side now. Well, it did take a fair amount of filing, but I'm there now. The guide bar slides smoothly and easily along the full length. There's a minimum of play in the bar as well. The only thing I have left to do with this one now is I want to take my file again and just knock the sharp corner off that was created by me filing the side. That'll be pretty sharp and I don't want to have it there. I know that this is not something that a lot of people will have to do. A lot of people have newer table saws, won't have this problem, but if you happen to pick an older one up on eBay or Craigslist or wherever, you'll find that stuff like this, tricks like this do come in handy and I hope it helps someone else. Well, I just thought I would do a little bonus thing here, talk about hammers for a little bit. Here I've got two kind of hammers is on the, my right, your left, is a straight claw ripping hammer they're called. And on my left or your right is a curved claw, more of a finishing hammer. And now I've had this hammer for a while. I actually bought it used at, uh, I don't know, a Goodwill or Habitat for Humanity store or something like that. Paid two bucks for it. Excellent hammer, excellent head on it. The handle is in perfect shape. It's got lots of character. Actually, my, my most favorite type of hammer is a wooden handled hammer like this. I find it to be the most comfortable. Now, the point of this video, and you got that from the title, is how to pull nails easily out of wood. Now, a lot of people are making things out of pallet wood and uh, used lumber. I find that the best source of used lumber would be to go, like if you've got a renovation happening in your neighborhood, uh, you could raid their dumpster and pull out lots of really good lumber that's uh, well seasoned because it's been inside the house and it's really well dried out not outside exposed to the elements, depending upon how long it's been in the dumpster that is. And clean it up, cut it down, and you got some perfect wood. Often the wood you get from a renovation from a house is not hardwood, it's softwood, but you can still make a lot of good stuff with that. In my case right here, I have a rough cut two by eight, I think it is, and it's a full two and a, almost two and a quarter inches thick, eight inches wide, it's got some nails on the top here because it was actually a floor joist in my house that I took out. Uh, to take the nails out, they can be tricky because they get rusty, especially the older ones. And what I find to be the best way to get them started is actually to dry them in a little bit first. You dry them in a little bit and what that does is it breaks them free, it breaks the rust around it, and then you can take it and you can pull it out. Now the best way to pull nails is to, in the same way as you would drive them. You don't drive a nail by trying to push it in like this. It won't go. You have to hit it. So to pull the nail, you have to hit it as well. What you do is you have your hammer slack like that, and then you 
I'll show that to you again up close. Here you can see that the hammer claw is well below the head of the nail and you want to take your hand and put on the hammer like this and wrench it up. One quick smooth motion and the nail will come out. Pulling on it with the hammer underneath the head still works if the nails are fairly loose but you're going to work twice as hard. When it comes to pulling nails the curved one is almost always better for pulling nails than the straight clawed one although the straight clawed one does have its applications. You're saying to yourself, okay, those are two inch nails. What about bigger nails? Now I have a three and a half inch nail here and I'll drive it in. And it would be difficult to pull that out with any hammer without help. I'm going to try it with this hammer. I don't know if you're, I'm still in the camera. I'm going to And it comes right out. Takes several tries, but it comes. Another way to make pulling nails easier is to use a block like this to increase your leverage. You get that underneath the body of the hammer, get your claw underneath the nail. Now, in this case, you really don't want to be banging it too much. Just want to take your time and pull it out evenly. But with the extra leverage, it should come a lot easier. Also, in some extreme circumstances, it's very difficult to get the nail out. You really don't have the room to swing it in the way I showed first. You don't have space to put anything under to increase your leverage. So that's where the straight clawed hammer comes in really handy. You can get that in here on your nail, push it in tight to the nail, then wrench it sideways, and that will pull the nail up. Often it will break it like that, but that's not much of a concern. And you can go the other way, back and forth, until it eventually comes out. Now it does damage the wood a little bit, but if all you're concerned about is getting the nails out, then that's not an issue either. Well, I hope that was enjoyable and informative. For more details on this, you can go to my website. The link is in the description. As usual, thanks for watching, and see you next time. I'm going to go again, because that kind of looked stupid. So I'm going to flip this around. Uh, Hoorah!